that you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. If you're a member of the Scott family, Christmas came early and it came with two upsets under the tree. Bryson leading the way as the Mastodons upset then third ranked IU. Twin brother Brenton helping Indiana State knock off a top 25 team just two weeks later. The Sycamores besting number 16 Butler. Brenton Scott 25 points in the win, establishing himself as one of the top scorers in the state. No one on the Indiana State basketball team has the competitive drive of junior guard Brenton Scott. He doesn't care. I mean, he is so competitive. He, he just thinks he can beat you. I was even worse as a third guard because, okay. you know, I would get in fights and, you know, with my brothers, and, you know, because we always play one on one. And, you know, it's just, it was always with me, you know, ever, ever since I was born. And uh, just carried with me every, every, uh, till now. And, uh, you know, it's an attribute that I love that I have. I just got to continue to just, you know, control it. ISU head coach Greg Lansing admits he's coached a lot of players, but few with a personality like Brenton. He's hard headed. I just try to let him motivate me and I, I just let him coach me. Um, you know, I just don't, I don't take it personally. I just, I know he wants the best for me. Being a team's number one option on offense is a different role for Brenton. At Northrop High School, he was primarily a ball handler, but often would defer to Bryson when it came to putting up points. Every great scorer has a sense of selfishness to him because they just know they're good and they can get baskets. The junior's gotten better every year in Terre Haute to the point where he now leads the team at 19 and a half points a game. You know, I just want to show everybody, you know, how good of a player I am and that I can, you know, <clears throat> help a team win, you know, because the past two seasons, you know, we haven't had the best seasons and we weren't winning. So, you know, now that I'm stepping into more of a leadership role and, uh, you know, I just want to prove to everybody that, you know, we can win with me being a leader. Brenton and the Sycamores are 5-5 five and five on the season. They don't play again until Saturday when they travel to Valpo.